a lot of people on TV didn't expect a war like this to happen in, let's say, certain neighborhoods. This is not a developing third world nation. This is Europe. These are prosperous middle class people. These are not people trying to get away from areas in North Africa. They look like any European family that you would live next door to. What could be a difference here from other conflicts, you know, that could seem very far away, you know, in Africa or Middle East or whatever. I mean, these are Europeans that we're seeing uh, being killed. This isn't a place, with all due respect, um, you know, like Iraq or Afghanistan. You know, this is a relatively civilized, uh, relatively European, I have to choose those words carefully too, uh, city where you wouldn't expect that or hope that it's going to happen. Wow. That was you choosing your words carefully? That was the careful version? So what were you gonna say if you weren't choosing your words carefully? I just hope the next time this happens, it happens back in the Middle East where it belongs. Like, here's the thing, people, here's the thing. Beyond the racism, right? Like, let, let's, let's forget the racism. Oh, how I wish we could forget about the racism. You do realize that until very recently, fighting crazy wars was Europe's thing. That was Europe's entire thing. That's all of European history. They even had something called the Hundred Years' War. You understand how long that is? That's like a decade. <laughs> they got a Nobel Prize because they stopped fighting. Imagine that. Now people are gonna be like, oh, to see this in, in Europe, to see this. Like, I'll tell you now, I don't know about you, but I was shocked to see how many reporters around the world, by the way, seem to think that it's more of a tragedy when white people have to flee their countries. Because I guess what, the darkies were built for it? I mean, you see how they run in the Olympics, Peter. Clearly, God has given them this talent for a reason. I totally agree. I mean, even if this wasn't a war, these people would probably be fleeing their homes for fun. It's just who they are. <laughs> Back to you guys in the studio.